what role, and we're going to skip around a little bit, what role does counseling play in the church? I would like to see, I think it's very good. I think if, you, if you're if seeking healing, we're mind, body, soul, and spirit. You yeah. cannot live, leave out spirit. It's mm-hmm. not one or the other. They all need to work together. Um, I've seen churches that um, train people in lay counseling. I think that's good. Mm-hmm. But I've also seen sometimes where a church should have um, maybe, you know, pastoral counseling is, is different. It's not going to address the brain chemistry. Right. You know, right. if somebody right. actually has... Uh, chemical imbalance or even just ADHD um, sometimes you know your parent just wants to discipline 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 mm-hmm. no your child's brain cannot focus on you know they're taking in everything every background noise anybody doing like this they're very easily right. distracted so sometimes I just see I've seen it done well where there's you know uh, people in the congregation um, mm-hmm. go through lay counseling training and help each other and I see pastors play a, a wonderful role in helping, but I just think that pastors need to also know when they need to yes, hand it sure, over. Sure. This is Absolutely. more than yeah. what I can know. Uh, that makes sense. That's why. That's why but I also seen, even in the church, when, um, not my church per se, but you know, growing up in the church, I also see them, oh, just pray about it. <laughs> um, give it to God, you know. Um, and now that I, you know, look back, I'm just thinking, okay, that's because you didn't have the answer to begin with. Mm-hmm. So that's, you know, your first thing is, oh, pray about it, give it to the guy, you know. Right. Um, so um, I've, I've seen a lot of that. Um, and now I'm just, I'm just hoping that, you know, things like that will change. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, if you go to a Christian counselor, well, so I worked for a Christian counseling um I don't now, but I have done specifically Christian counseling agency, and um, that is giving it over to God. We know when we walk in the door, and even where I work now, which is not Christian counseling, I can't do anything without the Lord. Lord. And I still ask people, um, if they indicate they they have some type of faith, I don't care if they're um, um, Catholic or what it is, I ask them if they would like me to pray Pray for them, them. and and they do. But even, you know, we'll give it over to the Lord. You think if, I'm, you know, if you go to counsel, then you're not giving give it, it over to the Lord. Lord. Right. Sure. I am you know? giving it to the Lord. Right. The Lord He's going me. to use this person. <laughs> you know, he uses doctors, whether they know, whether they yeah, acknowledge sure, they're being sure, used by him or not. He's giving them a gift yeah. Yeah. To, to, to heal. Yeah, that's yeah right. to perform that's right. surgeries and things yeah. that people need. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a good point. You know what, my doctor, I don't know if she's a Christian or not, but I don't, mm-hmm. I don't really think she is. Mm-hmm. But, um... When I was having my first child, it was a very tragic, shirt like thing. And um, she came in the room the night before I was. She had scheduled my emergency C section. She came in the room and it was late. It was probably eleven or twelve. He was asleep, and she sat there and she was like, it was like she was mourning with me, mm-hmm. which I appreciated. Um, and she was like, I don't know what to do. She said, I wish I had a direct line to God. Mm-hmm. But it's funny because. It was so good and refreshing to hear it from a doctor. Right. She said, like, like there's no, she didn't know if there was a no win-win situation either way she goes. Mm-hmm. But she knew that, like, I would die if I didn't deliver at the point that I delivered. Right. You know, and a baby would definitely die. But um, just to hear that, like, from what you're saying, even the world knows their limits. Mm-hmm. Right? Even the world knows, even if they don't want to admit it. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> they right. know that, like, there's only but so far I can go. Yes. I didn't, you know, like that saying, I guess. I didn't completely reach the ceiling. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't completely platform this thing out. And I mean, everybody knows that. That's why science is science. Because it keeps going. It keeps evolving. It keeps changing. And it keeps showing new things. Right? right? That's what makes us keep coming back for more for science. But my point being is, because there is more, that shows that there is a creator. Mm -hmm. Um, So anyway, not to go. Thank you for watching um, the Shepherd Pie channel, guys. Thank you guys for coming. Um, We appreciate it. And we have more content to come, so please check us out. And um, thank you for your support and your likes and your shares and all that you do for us. We appreciate it. And we um, hope that this topic was encouraging for you all and um, thought-provoking. And for some people, it may lead you to get to seek out counseling or um, some psychological um, help. So definitely use the resources. And as um, Sean said, with regards to the, uh, the hotline, please note that um, if you need help, please get it.